This is another video in the PowerPoint Designer series. We looked at how you can start working with PowerPoint Designer. We looked at how you could disable PowerPoint Designer. And we also looked at how you can take picture slide layouts and create them in PowerPoint Designer, like the one, the slides that you see on the screen now. So what happens if you want to change a picture in this slide? What if I want to take away this picture and get something else? I could just right click and choose a change picture option from a file and I'm going to take this particular picture. But you'll notice that the picture is now squished. It has changed the proportions and even the dimensions. So how do we make sure that we can go and have them all placed properly? One quick trick is to go and apply the same layout again in Design Ideas. If the Design Ideas task pane is not visible for you, you can just go to the Design, design tab of the ribbon and click on Design Ideas. Okay, and you get that again. And I could just go and click on the layout again. One problem with this option is that it's going to, you know, uh, get pictures in the different shapes over there than whatever there. You, you can notice that, that the picture on the center was actually over here, and this is a picture that we had now added over there. What if you don't want that to happen? In that case, you'll have to do it manually. And I'm going to show you how to do so. Let's first undo what has happened here. Okay. And this is how you're going to play with a picture, which is either a perfect square or a perfect circle. So what's a perfect square or a perfect circle? When the height and the width is the same, it's a perfect circle or a perfect square. As in this case, we have a perfect circle. Now let's go and do something similar with a shape that was not a perfect square to start with. This is a rectangle. And I'm going to choose the change picture from a file option again. And this time we're going to choose this picture. Hit the insert button. And you'll notice that this picture is a little smaller than the original picture. You can see there are, sorry. You can see there are white extra areas here which should actually span until more leftwards and rightwards based on what the earlier picture looked like. So there are two different ways to work with this one. Let's go and see something which is a perfect square or a perfect circle. We select this picture here and we get the picture format tab on the ribbon. It's a contextual tab which only gets to be seen when you have a picture selected on your slide. And now we take the crop option. Don't click the crop button. Rather go and click the crop drop down list. Choose the aspect ratio option and then choose one is to one. Because it's a perfect square or a perfect circle, it's always one is to one. And now what you see is we do have a circle, but it is smaller than what we started with. You'll see there are two types of handles here. You see there, once it's selected, you see the L handles here on the four corners and more four handles on the sides. And then you have the round handles here. These round handles actually are going to resize the picture and the L handles are going to resize the circle. We don't need to resize the picture. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and resize the circle shape. Take any one of the four corner handles. It doesn't matter which one you take as long as you remember to press the control and the shift keys that you select any of the corner handles and resize it uh, and just Drag it until you believe that you have resized how much you want them to be done. And this sort of works here. It's pretty well resized. But the problem now is that the picture over here is still not filling the area. And that's a simple solution. Just go to the crop tab again and hit the fill button. And there you go. And now you replace the picture from the original picture. This was the original picture. And this is what you have now replaced it to be. Okay, and we'll do something similar with a rectangle or even with an irregular shape. It really doesn't matter. This technique works for everything which is not a perfect square or a perfect circle. But this time what you will do is select a picture, go to picture format and choose crop. Okay, and then what you will do is you will not take the aspect ratio option. In fact, you don't have to go and take any of these options. What you can do is you can merely go and hit the crop button over here and you get those L handles and those round handles again. Again, we need to just use the L handles, not exactly the L handles, but the side handles that are part of the L handle set. 
you, you're going to take any of the side handles now don't take the corner handles this time you choose the side handles if you want to resize them horizontally you will take any of either the left or the right side handle if you want to resize them vertically you will take the, either the top or the bottom side handles and since we want to resize them both the left and the right side we don't have to do them individually we can just press the control key on a keyboard and then drag it either rightward or leftwards and the opposite side will also resize in the same proportions and I'm happy with what I have now I'm going to leave it over there and then the next part is very simple and the same as what we did earlier just go to the crop option and say fill and you will notice that you have actually gone and got a proper picture here we can compare this one with the original one and you can see the picture dimensions are identical okay so that's how you work on uh, replacing a picture in one of the picture slide layouts so play around with the design ideas task pane and powerpoint designer have fun and we'll be back with more tutorials explore more concepts at indesign.com indesign make better presentations